What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Sean Porter. Sean Porter states that he would rather have had Pacquiao's career than Floyd Mayweather's. Of course, we all know that Floyd Mayweather retired undefeated. The five division champion also earned a huge amount of money as a boxer in excess, in excess of $700 million during a pro career that spanned nearly 21 years. And Mayweather beat Manny Pacquiao quite comfortably when they fought five years ago in a welterweight championship match. Sean Porter still would rather have had Pacquiao's career than Mayweather's. The former IBF WBC welterweight champion made the revelation in response to a fan's question during the newest episode of Stars and Champions, which is his show on uh, Fox. He says, I'm actually going to go with Manny, Porter told host Dan Raphael. I think that even though Manny has taken a lot of punishment, he's been a lot, he's been in a lot of wars. He's been in a lot of exciting fights. You know me. I like the war. I like the battle and I like the excitement. So for those reasons, I would pick Manny. And then on the top of that, if you look around the world, more people appreciate Manny. More people appreciate and adore Manny than dislike him than Floyd Mayweather. Those are the words of Sean Porter. Now, I agree with some points. You know, it's it's the way you look at it. We have to remember, this is Sean Porter. Sean Porter is what we and what he's earned by right as a warlord. He likes to get it in. He likes tough and rough fights. Some of his best fights has been his losses by split decision, except for Ugas, and I think Ugas beat him, but that was still an exciting fight. He likes to get in there. He likes to mix it up. He likes the war. He likes the engagement of war. I think Sean Porter is a guy that I can see why he would respect Manny Pacquiao, okay? Because Manny Pacquiao has been in those wars. He's given the fans exciting fights. He's still fighting to this day. He's still beating young fighters to this day. So why not? Now, if this was another fighter, if you ask anyone else, or should I, I shouldn't say anyone else. If you, fa if you ask someone like the new upcoming guys like Charlo, Spence, um, Broner, those guys, um, T Davis, if you ask those guys who would you rather be, they would tell you without blinking an eye, Floyd Mayweather. Why? Because these are these fighters of the of today, they have a totally different mentality when it comes to boxing. See, a lot of times and a lot of people think Floyd Mayweather ruined boxing. What Floyd did was the smartest thing for Floyd. I can understand people trying to be like Floyd because who doesn't want to make a lot of money in the sport? However, I think what they chose to take from, extract from Floyd was trying to keep the oath. But what they didn't learn from Floyd was that he did fight more champions than a lot of fighters, period. And those consist of guys that people thought that could beat him, okay? So I am not saying he always did that, but I'm saying at the first half of his career, that's all he did. Floyd delivered guys owed to them. He beat guys, Ricky Hatton, Diego Corrales, Canelo Alvarez. And that was, actually Canelo is a throwback because that was when he was older, okay, case in point. But he, got, he gave a lot of people uh, their first, they, he got a lot of people their first loss, okay? So Floyd took risk. These fighters don't take risk, okay? So because I feel that Manny, Manny Pacquiao is a guy that has fought a lot of people, especially past his prime. And because he's lost, it conveys that he didn't duck anybody. Okay? Now, there's a flip side to this. That's a legacy. If you were a money guy, just like the young guys that are, you know, coming up, they want to be like Floyd. Um, you also have to mention 
one thing that doesn't have anything to do with money is your health, okay? It's a saying, your health is your wealth. That's why I'm out here getting it in, working out, training. Because besides looking a certain way, you also want to feel and be a certain way healthy-wise. Because you can get all the money in the world, but if you can't spend it, if you can't remember your own damn name, what's the point? So the point I'm trying to make is, I respect both of them for what they did, my counterpunch. But Floyd Mayweather made sure he didn't take punishment that he couldn't even speak. You know, besides his own abilities and challenging things and the way he says things, people might make fun of, but he's not punch drunk, he's not slow, he's not uh, impaired to the point where you can see that the game in boxing has took a toll on this brother. Manny Pacquiao, you haven't seen much of that because Manny Pacquiao, again, is a totally different character. Uh, I don't think uh, I like the people in the Philippines for uh, supporting me. You know, so he doesn't sound bad yet, but he's still fighting. Floyd is not, okay? Floyd did it the safe way and the most careful way. Manny did it the most courageous way and the most fearless way. That's the best way I can describe both guys. Now, with Sean Porter, back to him. I think he's a guy that will respect that particular fighter because he can identify with Manny Pacquiao with the wars that he's already been in. He wants to emulate him. A lot of fighters want to be working smarter instead of harder. He, you know, A lot of people like the idea of hard work, right? A deer of a hard fight. They can appreciate that. Some fighters, if they listen to the Money Mayweather, they might convey that Floyd wants you to take each and every fight easy. But each and every fight wasn't easy to Floyd. Floyd was just that good. He was just that great to make a fight look a certain way, not to say it was if someone else would have stepped in the ring, right? So I think I see what Sean Porter's saying, but if Manny, the reality of it is if Manny Pacquiao keeps fighting, he might end up in a fight that could damage his health, and there's nothing cool about taking punishment. That's my counterpunch on that. You guys tell me what you think about Sean Porter's uh, opinion. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.